there and welcome to this video from Growing Your Blog with Pinterest. I'm Jenny Elliott from TheBlogMaven.com and in this video you'll learn how to add a featured pinnable image to your sidebar so you can show it off. And you'll also add a properly linked pin it button underneath that with the stats that'll show off how many pins you've got. So let's get started. All right, we're here at TheBlogMaven.com and as we've talked about before, your sidebar is really prime real estate for growing your blog. So I'm going to zoom out here and show you what I mean. On my blog, all on the right hand side, I've got the intro at the top with the little subscribe box. By the way, if you're not already subscribed to the blog Maven, you probably should be. So go ahead and do that when you get the chance. Let's look down the sidebar here and you'll see these are the, the images that I want people to notice when they come on my blog. First of all, I'm a blog designer, so I've got that featured here towards the top and I've got the other service that I provide here, my blogger to WordPress migration. Just below this, I have some featured resources for my blog. This is the blog series that this post is currently a part of, the Growing Your Blog with Pinterest, and right below it, I have some popular articles. Now, the point of your sidebar is to get people to look over here and spend a while. If they're just coming over from Pinterest because they followed a single pin there, then when they get to your blog, you wanna make sure you capture their attention, show off the very best of what you have to offer in your sidebar. And so what I'm going to do in this video is add a few images over here that will show off some of the other popular pins that I have for my blog. And this way, when people do arrive from Pinterest, they'll see, oh, here are some other things that people have found useful on this blog, so I better not only check them out myself, but repin them. So you'll get two birds with one stone here. You'll have not only a person who was temporarily visiting your blog who wants to stick around and look around your site, but also that they'll be more inclined to share your post with other people. So here I have popular articles on the right-hand side. Here, I'm gonna zoom back in because that's kind of unreadable. Um, Instead of these popular articles, I'm going to add some images there instead. So this is going to be a two or three step process and I'll take you through all of those here. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a post that has the greatest number of pins. You probably have a good idea of what those posts are that are your most popular from Pinterest. If you don't know what your most shared content is on Pinterest, you can always take that shortcut and go to pinterest.com slash source slash your URL. I'll show you that really quickly here. Pinterest.com source slash theblogmaven.com. So you can just browse down the screen here and these are all of the pins that have come from the blog that I typed in here at the top from my blog. So I see that one of my most popular posts, which I already knew because of the traffic I get from it, is this uh, nine ways to bring Pinterest users to your blog. So I'm going to be featuring this image in my sidebar that hopefully when people come in to see other articles, they'll notice that in the sidebar and they'll find it useful as well. So I'm gonna close out of here. And it's time to get going. So the first thing you're going to need is an image. If you don't already have an image that's the right size for your sidebar, you'll want to make sure you go ahead and resize it. I'm going to zoom to 100% here on my blog so we can take a look at this together. In my sidebar, this is 280 pixels wide, and so I took my pinnable image here and I went ahead and resized it to 280 pixels wide. Most likely, your image is going to be too wide where it was just in the post on your blog, so you make sure you resize that to the proper size that will fit into your sidebar. I'm going to go here and add a new media. And all I'm doing here is uploading this photo separately and I'm going to grab the URL because I'm going to need that when I add the code to my sidebar. And as I always say around here, make sure that you're renaming your images that will be SEO friendly as well. Nine ways to bring printers users to your blog, theblogmaven.com. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I put that for not only the title, but the alt text as well. Great for your SEO. And what I really wanna get on this screen is this file URL. This is the location on my servers where it's located. So I'm going to copy this file URL and now it's on the clipboard in my computer. I'll save the changes there. And now I'm going to go open up a text widget that I'll put this into. Now 
and I'll just put this anywhere for right now. Dragging a text widget over into the right spot on my sidebar, and I'll put it right here, it's fine. Now the first thing I'm going to do is on top, if you can visualize this, I'm going to have the image, and then right underneath it, I'm gonna have that pin it button. So the first thing we'll do is add that image. And I will have the code below this video in the post so you guys will be able to just grab it and use it on your own blog. So I'm going to put that image file location here under image source, and that's where it's going to actually pull the image from. And now I need to get a URL that I want that to point to. When somebody clicks on that, I want it to take them to that post. So I'll go ahead here, I'm in the post, and I will just highlight this, copy it, and back over to that text widget, I'm going to paste it right here. So the ahref is where it's going to take them to. And then don't forget this little close a, that's how you close out the link. And then I'm done with the first part. So we can go check it on the front page of my blog and see what it looks like. And scrolling down now, here we go, there's my image. So the next thing I want to do is right below that add a little bitty pin it button. And there are a couple steps to do this, but follow along, you'll be able to hopefully do it pretty easily. To get the pin it image, I'm going to go to the goodies area of Pinterest. So let's go to that together. It's at pinterest.com slash about slash goodies. And this is only gonna work correctly if you're already logged into Pinterest, so make sure you're logged in first. And here we go, under pin it button for websites. The URL of the page that you want to pin, I'm just going to go ahead and remember, I still have this on the clipboard, and I've just pasted in the URL that I want the pin to take them to on my blog. Next is the image to pin, and I'm gonna go grab that back out of, where did I put that? Under the image source here. That is the location of the image itself. And now you need to write a keyword rich description of the page that you're pinning. So here I'll just put nine ways to bring Pinterest users. To your blog. And I love how my browser still thinks that's a typo. So there are two parts here. As I've been typing this, you'll notice that there's been code populating right here below this. This is a preview of what the, pin, the Pinterest buttons can look like here, and that, that looks good to me. The code here, this is what I'm going to grab for my website. However, there's something I need to add first, which is this little bitty tag of JavaScript. And there's a place I need to put this on my blog. The only reason that you need this is to make this number count work on your blog. If you don't have the JavaScript here where it tells you to put it, then it's going to make it so that the pin it button has no number show up beside it. It's really, really a good idea to go ahead and go through the extra steps to do this so you have what you need. The instruction here is to add this code to your page only once directly above the closing and body tag. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that, Command C or Control C if you're on a PC. And now I'm gonna go back into my blog to make sure I have this JavaScript right where it needs to be. And luckily for me, I'm using the Genesis framework and it's really, really easy to drop this into place if you use Genesis for your blog theme. So back here to my WordPress dashboard and I need to go to Genesis and theme settings. And I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom and here's a place um, all the way at the very bottom of your Genesis screen, it says, enter scripts or code that you would like to output to WP footer. So this is a quant cast tag. Let me make sure I don't have anything else in here. I run a lot of stuff on my blog. I'm just going to tab down. You probably will not have anything in this box already. And I'll just command V to paste that in there and then save my settings. And so all this does is it puts it in the proper place above. Let me scroll back down so you can see it puts it immediately before the end body tag, which is where Pinterest told us to put that.
So now that I've added that code, I'm going to close out of there. Don't forget to save and go back to my goodies page. This has all the code written in it right here for the pin that I've just created. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this control or command and C to copy it. And now I'm going to go back over to my widget. I'm going to add a little div tag here because I want that to go, I want that to be centered right underneath the image. And don't worry, I'll put that in the code below this video as well. Command V, I'm going to paste that right there between the open and closed div tags. And let's go save it here and we'll pop back out to my blog to check it out. So scrolling down here, and here we have it. My pinned image here, and this is going to link straight to my post. And then also my pin it button, and this shows the number of pins that are here. So if I have a number of these lined up, maybe three of my most popular posts, and that's going to entice people to just stick around for a while, look around my blog, and check out the other things that Pinterest visitors have found useful on my blog. A quick note here, if this pin it number is not showing up for you here and you're already running other WordPress plugins for Pinterest on your blog, it's possible that you may not need that JavaScript where we added under the Genesis theme options page. So if it's not working for you, then go back and take that out and just check it out and see if it works. It's easy to remove if you don't need it. So what have we learned today? We learned how to add a featured pin image to our sidebar and how to add the properly linked pin it button with working stats right below it. If you have a comment or a question about this tutorial, please don't hesitate to leave that in the comments below. I always check my comments and I'm pretty good about responding to them too. So if you get stuck, let me know. And if you found this post useful, please share it. On Pinterest, of course, is the easiest, but if you wanna share it on Facebook, Twitter, anywhere you like, just send people this way and I'll take good care of them. Thanks so much, see you next time.